year 13s, five months is a long time to sit around, well for some of you maybe even six months, that is a long time for you to sit around and do nothing. It is going to be really really hard on you, it's going to be really really hard on everyone mentally and physically to sit and look at the same walls and the same people and the most important thing about this time is looking after yourself by coming out of this well. So I'm mean by looking after your physical and your mental health and the the stress and anxiety around the whole situation and then being stuck inside the house with people, maybe with added responsibilities because you've got to look after younger siblings. You might have to teach younger siblings while your parents are busy having Zoom meetings or your parents are busy off at work in potentially dangerous and stressful situations. So the most important thing you can do at the moment is try and look after yourself and try and look after everyone around you because it is on completely unprecedented and strange times and if you have to take over the role of looking after the house, looking after your younger siblings, your cousins, potentially looking after older people in the house and doing the washing and doing the cooking just so that your parents can work and keep bringing money to feed you and make sure that you have a house to live in that is an important and valuable contribution and it may feel strange that you're doing it, it may feel strange that this is what you have to do but it is important. Now, a results day has been confirmed to be the same, so that is the 13th of August. It does not give us a lot of time if you want to decide or the mechanism for deciding if you want to appeal the exam results and then think about resits in September. But considering you're supposed to be starting university in September, October, we are really, really hoping that the universities are going to follow the government advice and um, be considerate when um, thinking about applications. Now chances are we are going to see a reduced number of students going to university because universities are not necessarily going to have the, the foreign students uh, that will be coming in. So hopefully that means there are going to be more places and universities can be more lenient when they're accepting people who are home students. One useful thing that you could do is just read around the subject. Um, have a look at uh, the names of lecturers at university and then put them into Amazon and see if they've written a book. Now I'm not saying buy textbooks and start reading textbooks, I'm saying have any of your lecturers written a popular book around the subject. Um, chances are if you are lectured by a person and they have written a textbook, the core textbook for that course will be the textbook that they've written. Um, but if they've written a general book around the subject, so like a general science book or a general popular maths book, then that's going to give you some useful insight into what you are doing. This is a great time to learn how to cook some really, really easy things that you will um, be living off at university because tuna surprise, tuna and pasta isn't actually <laughs> going to do you very long at university because it's disgusting but there are some really really simple things you can like watch youtube videos and learn how to make so that by the time you get to university you've got a few basics under your belt and then start making some grand plans start planning a great escape because i honestly if you're anything like me i am desperate to leave the house and do some traveling far far away from here so it is kind of sad that this is the end for us, um, unless you're resitting, there's probably no point you watching my channel anymore, so goodbye guys. Ouch. Mm, I'll be too